everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, I checked something out. Just a little bit of something. Um, something we could have done on the train, actually. So we'll get out of here. And then I know uh, what's gonna what we can do after that. So. Because it's obvious. Somebody. Nah. Hope we're interrupting something. Not at all. I was just leaving. I won't rest till you give me the you know what. Goodbye, Hirgen. Whatever. Actually, we don't. Okay. I actually just came back in here Damn. to make sure we got sexist reject us, but we don't need it. We have it. So, uh, now what we have to do, this is the only thing I checked out, was we have to just get out of here. And then one more down. And this is a little weird. Okay. Yeah. Talk to Slushy. Let me talk to Slushy. What's up, dog? Wait right there. I've got the perfect kid for you. Yeah? That's fantastic, pal. Send him over. Okay, boys, cut to the punchline. It's playtime. There we go. You really liked it then? Liked it? I adored it. Haven't had that much fun in ages. Made me feel like a 16 month old again. Hot dog, that's just what we was hoping to hear. Thanks, kid. Revelatory. Positively revelatory. I dare say that toy has changed the course of my entire life. It's a model biplane. All right. So, um, there we go. Yeah. Now that your secret's out, you won't mind if we snoop through your steamer trunks? Ah, come on, we got nothing to hide. Awesome! 153.5 steamer trunks, but no chest. A lot of chest nuts, though. <laughs> Alright. Stay sprightly. So... Now we can get the can of nuts from real one. Should we go back to the earlier reel or skip ahead to the next one? I don't even remember where we were in this reel. Oh, we should talk to her again now that we've met her husband and whatever. Her daughter. Hey, Slushy! <laughs> Toy store's closed for the day, gentlemen. To use, anyhow. We've got a toy idea that'll knock your stripy socks off. Lay it on us. If it's as good as you say, we'll happily hand this can of nuts over to you. It's a toy biplane. He's on to something there. Air travel's the latest thing. It can't miss. Snow cone, get the boys working on a prototype. Post haste. 
I'll spring it on the boss when he's good and jollied up on milk and cookies. <laughs> it's a cinch he'll give us the old ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Raises all around. And you don't mind giving us that can? Oh, that. I uh, love to, Mac, but uh, me friend here sort of attached to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's part of him. What do you say we remove some parts from some elves? After you. Hey, 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 hey. Ow, 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 hey, hey. Ow, stop, ow. What's that stuff that comes out of them when they splatter? Not oh, sure. People use it to thicken eggnog. Okay. We have the can of nuts! Genuine snowballs, hand carved by emigrant elves. So now, uh, let's go talk to, uh, Mole Woman. Oh, my friend, I could paste on your lips a big kiss with much moist fluids from the mouth. Yeah! You have pried can of nuts from grasping clutches of loathsome elves. Yep. And now you have come to give can to Mole Woman. Uh, uh... Best if we hang on to it for the time being. I see. Elves maybe are planning counterattack. Right, and we need your help to counter the counterattack. Okay. Oh, nice. What do you know about a protection spell? Oh, very powerful mole magic wielded only by ancient and venerable mole mages. My father-in-law, for instance. What do you know about a protection spell? Oh. oh. Very powerful mole magic wielded only by ancient and venerable mole mages. My father-in-law, for instance. Okay. Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Every mole person has a curse she can make. It is our birthright. Mine is making people into vampires. Ah, you work with what you got. So now we have the can of nuts. We still don't have anything to to pass through the sphunks. And uh well we're kind of but we do have the can of nuts. But that really ha doesn't Extra. Got change for a dime? What do I look like, Rockefeller? Lost baby. Okay. Hey, it's uh, the street is straight and narrow. It's the same street our office is on in the future, apparently. I don't really know, but I mean, it's, well, clearly it's the same. All right, so we have the can of nuts now. Who can penetrate? The gate of the Sphinx. Let's, uh... Let's see if there's any changed dialogue for Kringle. Oh, hey, Mr. K. Oh, where does a plutocrat go to get a little peace? Catch you later, Kringle. We've got a Sphinx to bust into. Be my guest. The gift may kick in on the next attempt. Step right up and take the challenge of the Sphinx. First one through the gate wins a fabulous Egyptian tour. Listen, monsieur. I hate to break it to you, but one of Kringle's high-challenged minions just made off with your can of nuts. Ridiculous. It's right there. That can's a fake. It doesn't do the magic thing like it's supposed to. If that is not magic, what is? Know anything about the dame with the beady eyes? Mole people, the bane of my existence. Why are they always following me? Thanks, your impresario ship. 
Give the challenge of this funks a try, boys. What have you got to lose? Okay. Let's try it. Why not? The nostrils are shut. Place your offering in the divine nostrils. We only have cookies. May the divine odor of chocolate chips prove pleasing to thy nasal cavities. I want to use the can of nuts now. Very good. You have passed the first threshold. Now recite the words of the inscription. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Well done, my friends. Now, there's only one barrier between yourselves and ultimate victory. You chattering little ice monkey. If those two chuckleheads beat us to the prize. Don't worry about it, boss. Oh, so they got lucky on the password. Luck ain't gonna get them through that gate. <laughs> oh, we could have got it. We could have so easily gotten it. Darn it! Ah, <coughs> oh, you gotta get it on the first try to get the trophy, too. Alright, fine. Impressive. Now for the supreme test. Can you pass the inner gate? Samoth passed a quarter once. <laughs> There we go. We could have had it. We so could have had it. You've done it. You have beaten the challenge of the Sphinx. You are the gifted one I have been searching for. I'm the gifted one. I'm his manager. No matter. I've got tickets for both of you. Tomorrow morning, you set off for sunny Egypt aboard the Disorient Express. Gee, thanks. I may weep with gratitude. But that's not all. An even more fabulous prize awaits you, and another challenge should you choose to accept it. I charge you with the task of delving into the actual tomb of Samun Mak and recovering the legendary Devil's Toy Box. Is that all? Say no more. We're on the case. Time to roll out plan B. Okay. Score one for the great grandparents. Yeah, but I bet you Kringle and the elves beat them to the chest. You're nuts. Don't listen to him, fellas. Oh yeah, there's still skeletons. Okay, so we finished one of the reels. Um In the tube, the journey home or the big reward okay. In the tomb is two. So... Let's try this. We haven't been to this reel in a long time. So tell me, Samoth and Maximus. To begin with, how was it you were able to pass through the mouth of the Sphinx? Oh, we know this now! After we got the can of nuts back from the elves, my little buddy and I squished into it and rode the Spunks' tongue through the gate. Yay! An astounding story, all the more convincing for being implausible. Now do we get off? However, once inside the tomb of Samun Mak, you were faced with many more dangers. Magic spells, deadly traps, bloodthirsty mole men. However, did you manage to beat the odds and secure the devil's toy box? <laughs> oh, no! Secure? What do we mean by the word secure? Can any of us really say we are secure? Boo hoo hoo! Boo! <laughs> this is painful. I don't think we're ready for this part yet. Let's go back to an earlier reel. 
All right, in the tomb it is, I guess. Wait a minute. The journey home, that's the... Huh. In the tomb, why not? All right, when we come back, in the tomb it is. I should wait for this to roll out. Bye, everybody.